In this week's episode, I'll show you how I take this 3D design and turn it into an actual product, right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. This all started when I found this electronics parts pack at my local micro center. It was on sale for like $12. I just couldn't pass it up. And then I decided I wanted to put all those pieces in its own little cabinet. So I just needed a small cabinet and I want it to fit right here in this slot on my bench. So it couldn't be too tall and not too wide. So I went shopping on Amazon. All I found were these big parts drawers. I did find a few like medium size and then I found this one. But it was still too many drawers and too big. And it was $10 and I didn't get free shipping unless I spent $25. So I decided to just print my own. And besides, I wanted to do a longer print on the E10 printer to see how well it handled it. So the first thing I needed to do was fix this problem of the bed rubbing on the connector of the motors. Now, it turns out that bottom H bracket that's black was actually bent and rubbing. But the easiest way to get around that is just to remove the two screws on the stepper motors, and I did this on both sides, and then just turn the motor 90 degrees, and now the connector is away from the bed and then just put the screws back in place and I was ready to go. The design is based on these customizable storage box drawers by user Timfo on Thingiverse. I had already brought one in to Tinkercad in a previous video so I used that and made this. This is my design for my storage box. Now what I did is actually took that drawer and I duplicated it eight times and then positioned those drawers where I wanted them. And there's basically five, a little over five millimeters between them on the sides and up and down. So I just needed to build this box out of five millimeter wide sections, which are just boxes. The box element reshaped. So if I ungroup it here, you can see what the pieces are. I've got a piece on the side here that's five millimeters thick, one on the top, and of course one going down in the center and one going across two levels of that and then on the back I have another five millimeter thick piece for the back with two holes in it just in case I ever want to mount this to the wall so very very simple design and when it was done I just grouped I took the drawers out of it and then I grouped that whole box together and this is what it looks like with the drawers in place so I brought that box into simplify 3d and I just print, I printed on E10 with 10% fill at a 0.3 layer height. Nothing really special and when I pr click prepare to print and it sliced it, it said it would take 20 hours to print this thing. And this is a simulation of a printing. I won't, I won't let it run here, let's just jump through it. But it's going to take a while. It's got 413 different layers. 128 meters of plastic and it says $5.78 based on a low cost $15 inland blue filament. Now here's what I did. I let it run overnight and I woke up in the morning and this is what I had. And the printer was shut off so I thought maybe something burned up. Turns out the plug, although it's lit right here, the plug was about in this position. All I did was push it in like that and it started working again. So it was very strange. So I started running it again and here's the result. Now if you notice there's a slight shift point. That was my fault, not the E10. I got anxious and I actually took one of the drawers and I slid it in to make sure it fit. And I did that, the, the head bumped into it and it messed up the print. So that was totally my fault. But anyway, here's the drawer and I printed this on the Prusa separately so I could get this done quicker. I did use supports, 0.3 layer height and a 50% fill. And these print really, really quick. Well, one hour to print them. But uh, 9 meters of plastic and only 43 cents per drawer. So by the time you total this up, it's probably going to cost about the same as that one I saw on Amazon without paying for shipping. And here's the drawers. I did some in High Five Blue, which, now that's higher than 43 cents. But most of them I did in this cheap black inlet at $15 a spool. And it came out beautiful. I love the way this looks. And the drawers slide in and out beautifully. I'm really happy with the design. So all I had to do was slide it in place and it fit perfectly. And it's real small, it's small enough that I can lift it down to the bench when I want to go through it. So it's, it worked out well. So there's the finished design, ready to put the electronics parts inside. Now this probably isn't the best design to sell your wife or your mom on letting you get a 3D printer. I mean, you can buy one of these things, as I showed, 
for about the same price it cost me in plastic. The difference is I got this done in less than 24 hours which is quicker than they could ship it to me unless I did express and then that would cost a lot more. Plus I got it built exactly the way I wanted in the size that I wanted and if I ever were to break a drawer or something I can just print another one. And best of all the 3D printers did all the work. Two filament Fridays ago I announced a contest for 20 of these Peel Poly bed material sheets direct from Peel Poly. Ten of them are going to my Patreon supporters and that will be announced on Patreon. Ten of them are going to the subscribers who left a comment in that video. Well I did a random drawing and the names will be announced in a few seconds. And by names I mean the YouTube IDs. So if your YouTube ID shows up as one of the ten winners, here's what you have to do. You have to send me a message through YouTube. So private message through YouTube with your name, address, and phone number. And it has to come from your YouTube ID. So I know it's really you. So that's it. Congratulations to the winners. And here are the winners. Congratulations. To send me a message, go to my About page. And in the upper right hand corner is a Send Message button. Click on that and send me the information. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing, maybe check out some of these videos popping up over here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon really helps. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.